Hello everybody. I'd like to show you how I line my boxes. I know I've done a stills video, um, like a time lapse video, showing you how I do this, but I thought I'd actually show you on a motion video. So I've got a box here, I've already given it a coat of paint, and it's it's quite a nice sturdy box, but I'd like to to put a lining into it. Um, so firstly what you'll need is some cards. Now this is actually or was actually a cat food box. So I've just got some pieces of card there. Hopefully will be enough to, to line the box. And first what I do is I measure from the inside edge to the inside edge across there and that's about 12.3 centimetres so I take a couple of millimetres off um, to enable the piece of card and the, the fabric to fit in so I'll take that down to a 12 centimetre piece by um, it's actually seven and a half so I'll do it 12 centimetres by 7.2 centimetres. So now I take a piece of card and this beast. Um, this is my cutter. So on my longest side, find 12 centimetres and cut. And then I haven't got millimetres on here, so I'm going to have to guess a little bit. Um, so there's seven, so 7.2 is about there. And this piece should fit comfortably into the bottom of the box. So I'll take the box and check that it fits nicely into the, into the base. Um, and I always start from the base of the box first. Now, if you wanted to have a um, like a padded bottom on the box, then you could use this craft foam. It comes in all different colours. I mean, it doesn't matter what colour you use. But so I'd like to do that with this one to have the. A spongy bottom to it so again um, I'm going to cut to just under 12 centimeters and then literally just over the seven point uh, seven point the seven centimeter mark sorry and that will give me a piece that will fit on top of this piece comfortably um, when I put the fabric on it'll it'll make a nice spongy bottom to the to the box okay so now I've got my base card and my sponge cut and I've chosen a sort of a shiny, I don't think you can see it really, but it's a shiny purple satin to line the box with, but it cha changes colours, so it's sort of purple and reds, and, and I need enough to cover the, the base with a little bit extra around the edges, so I'll just cut that. straighten it up in a minute but I'll just cut enough to fit comfortably over the over the card oh, 
Right, so now I have my piece of fabric. It's a bit creased, but that should pull pull out a bit. And then I take my base card and the sponge that I, I cut. Lay it face down and find the right side of the fabric. Take the glue gun and just put a small line of glue along the edge of the card and drop the fabric onto it, making sure obviously that it's it's stuck down. Then I can turn the whole piece over, keeping the card and the sponge in line. And this is uh, stretchy fabric. It stretch. I think it stretches just one way, but I pull it as, as tight as I can. Take the glue gun again and put enough glue to pull and hold the fabric and then when you turn this over you've got a, a nice spongy base which is will be finished once I've turned the other edges in I'm just going to cut the excess fabric away from there and trim the ends up slightly because there's a little bit too much overlap right now I need to turn these ends in and make them as neat as possible on the corners so the way that I do that is rather than cutting this first I take the glue gun put my glue along there take this edge and fold it over and try and create a, a sort of a pointed crease on the corners so then you get quite a tight corner on the edge of the card and the same on the other side and then you're left with quite a neat base piece. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the edges. And any excess fabric you don't want it bulking up too much underneath. got any corners sticking out I just glue them into place so that should form the base of the the box you want to line so place it in, make sure it fits, which it does. I 
and to glue these I don't use the glue gun because the glue gun tends to, to set a lot quicker than you want it to so out comes the yoohoo and I just put enough on the base of the box and a little bit on the back of the card I place the card in and push it down so it's a nice neat finish to the base of the box okay now to do the sides the front and the back and the sides I do the sides first and again I take my ruler and now this is in place I'm, I measure from the top of the piece that we've just put in to the just below the, the, the top of the box so from the end of the ruler because this ruler doesn't go the measurement doesn't go right to the end so actually from the ruler to the top of the box is 20, uh, two point, just over 2.7 centimetres, I think. If I get that around the right way, it might help. Right, it's actually closer to 3 centimetres, so I'm going to make the card for the sides 2.8 centimetres, I think. It, that won't bring it right to the very top. It'll leave a, a very small lip around around the the edge. So I need 2.8 centimeters by the inside width, which is again it's 7.5. So if I make that 7.3, that should fit. So that's back with the monster. don't want um, to put the, the sponge on the sides because I want to keep as much of the surface area of the, the inside of the box as possible. So we've got our two pieces that will fit into either side and leave a nice lip. So Taking my bit of fabric again. Okay, same principle again. Find the right side of the fabric. Take your glue gun. Place a line of glue along the edge, drop the fabric on and fix it. Now this is going to be way too big I think, so let me run that over. Okay. Take the glue gun again, line of glue along the edge there, pull the fabric in tight over the card and it'll give you a nice nice flat finish again I have way too much fabric on here so I'll cut this away
And this is a little more tricky getting the corners in because it's a smaller piece but it's a game run your glue along pull your fabric over the same this side run the glue along pull the fabric over and that's given a nice inside side piece for the box and let's again cut the excess away and repeat for the other side piece. you've got your two side pieces cut obviously make sure that they'll fit into your box which these do now because this is smaller um, we can act a lot quicker to put the sides in so I tend to try and find the best finished edge and have that coming towards the top so I take my glue gun which is cobwebbed everywhere I'll take my glue gum and spread the glue on the inside of the box enough to hold your section in grips it quite nicely so that's the first section in and again find the better the better edge and have that towards the top and just put enough glue in there Take your edge, and there you have your two end sections. Right now, you have both ends and the base. We need to do the, the front and back edges, so it's back to the ruler this time because you've got the sides in you're, you're going to have a slightly shorter edge front and back so I'll take the ruler and that comes out at about 11, 11 and a half centimetres and that again will be by the same height as the as the, the the end pieces so that was two point and they worked out at two point four now with these obviously I'd say because they're they're slightly different just make sure that they do slot 
into the space, which they do. Glue strands everywhere. And then just cover them in exactly the same, the same way. Once you have your front and back pieces, go back to your box, go and find the, the best edge, but also make sure that they are going to fit neatly into the into the box. And then again. Take your glue gun and you glue down the inside edge and try and keep the corners all level and in line with the side pieces so you've got a nice neat edge. The same with the other side. And that's it. You can add some extra trim around the edges. I've made a bit of a mess with the glue there, but you, you can add... Um, some beads or I've got some little crystals here you can add those to the to the inside edge just to to finish it off and hide any any extra glue that might be there but that's how I line my boxes um, and it's a lot easier than than taking a piece of fabric and trying to to fit it in and fit it into the corners and and get it all nice and, and, and neat for your for your projects and hopefully the lid will still go back on. So there we are. That's how I line my boxes. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.